Hey everybody, it's James here with the Sawyer Family Reviews channel. Today is Wednesday, July 10th, 2019, and this is your weekly comic book pickups video. Every week, I pick up my boys at least one comic each, oftentimes with more than one. I pick up Gracie one as well, even though she can't read yet. And as always, I pick up my comics at Queen City Comics in Fairfield, Ohio, zip code 45014. If you're in the area and into comics, go to that shop. Go two doors down from there afterwards and go to the toy department, all right? Let's jump in. True Believers, still working on Absolute Carnage stuff, which is tying into the Summer Absolute Carnage event. Um, I think that's what it's called. These are $1 reprints of classic Marvel stories, and they tie into something that's currently going on, either something in comics or something in the movies. This time around, it's something happening in comics. Uh, there are two today. True Believers number one, Carnage, which is a reprint of Carnage's first appearance in Amazing Spider-Man 361, if memory serves. Yes, it does. And this is written by David Michelini with pencils by the awesome Mark Bagley. Uh, this is uh, Carnage's first full appearance. Look at this old Mark Bagley Spider-Man art, man. That's so much fun. Look at that. That is awesome. This is an awesome True Believers. I miss this Bagley Michelini era of Spider-Man. Um, yeah, this is cool. This is a cool one. Really happy about that one. Oh, uh, by the way, this stack is not quite as huge as the last two weeks, thankfully, because my wallet can't take it much more. Um, next one is True Believers number one, Absolute Carnage, Venom Carnage. Um, they just put Venom Carnage. They don't put Venom versus Carnage, which I think this is what this reprints. Um, Venom versus Carnage number one. Reprints Venom versus Carnage number one. Yes. So this is Clayton Crane art, the same time, the same thing as last go round. There was an issue that was a true believer that had Clayton Crane art. Pete Milligan doing the writing. It's a battle of Venom versus Carnage with really cool painted Clayton Crane art. Neat stuff. And it's a dollar, so can't really go wrong. Next up, uh, this is a not a um, true believer. This is one of those facsimile editions of the original X-Men number one. I'm a big X-Men fan, so I went ahead and picked this up. This is a $3.99 reprint, and these facsimile editions are different than the True Believers in that there's no current advertising. It's all the old original ads reprinted. There's no recoloring or anything like that. This is all just as close as you can get to the original copy of X-Men number one. Grog grows own tail. Look at that. Sell grit. An ad for Amazing Spider-Man. Shop by mail. New pocket size invention helps hypnotize yourself or others. It's only a dollar. I gotta get it. Uh, yeah. So these are fun. I don't have an original X Men number one, so that's fun for me. Next up is a book for Blaze because he had no new books this week, but he's been wanting to read Savage Avengers. I got him one last week, if you remember, and now I'm getting him issue two. You've, you've seen this before, so I don't need to show it to you again. I'll well, I'll flip through it really quick. This is bringing together all these strange people into one Avengers team, like Punisher, Wolverine, Conan, Venom, Doctor Voodoo. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's a fun book. I enjoy it, and now Blaze enjoys it. I think he's got one more, and he's caught up. This is for Gracie. A brand new IDW series called Care Bears Unlock the Magic. Three ninety nine. Uh, Savage Avengers was also three ninety nine. This is by. Matthew Ehrman and Nadia Shamas with art by Agnes Garbowska. She loves Care Bears. Um, she's been getting a lot of plush Care Bears lately and been watching a lot of the old Care Bears movies and cartoons and stuff. So she'll be really excited to see this book. The art style is really neat too. It's not really classic Care Bears. I mean, it's the classic Care Bear characters, but the art style is, a, I don't know, a little bit more anime maybe? It's neat though. I like it. She'll like it. Uh, this book is for Keaton. This is Keaton's book this week. Uh, Continuing Venom. This is issue 16. It, it's priced at $3.99. It's by Donnie Cates and Juan Gedeon. And I'll show you the brief synopsis. Oh, they didn't do the synopsis page this time around. They just jumped right into it. I'm back for the first time in a long time. I can feel my own heart, my chest, and her voice. Man, I'm done. There's no more we. There's only me. So he's ditched the Venom symbiote, if I remember right. And maybe this is like a recap type of deal where it kind of showed what was going on. I'm not going to spoil anything, so I'm not going to go too far. But Keaton digs this book. He's, he's liked it since the beginning, and it's made it 16 issues now, so they must be doing something right. Nowadays, with a new book, you get maybe 10 issues, and then it's canceled. 
This is for me, Wolverine and Captain America Weapon Plus. So this is a new series that crosses over Wolverine and Captain America, and it's maybe showing how they tied together the Weapon Plus program and the Super Soldier program. This is priced at $4.99. Art's cool. Um, I flipped through this a little bit at the shop, and it's Wolverine and Cap kind of discovering what's going on with the Weapon Plus program, how it ties into things. Ethan Sachs is the writer. I don't have any idea how to say that name. It's the penciler. I mean, that's an interesting idea. I, I don't know if I, I really dig that much tying Captain America into the same program that created Wolverine, but we'll see how it goes. I'm willing to give this thing a shot. It looks cool. It's got cool art. Interesting idea. This is another one where it's like, wow, this art's really neat. The cover's really cool. I'll give this a shot. Wolverine versus Blade. And this was $5.99. It's for Mature Readers. Um, Guggenheim and Wilkins. It's X-Force costume Wolverine, which is kind of cool. I, I like seeing that costume. And the art is neat. Like, that's cool looking. So I guess it's Wolverine and Blade versus some vampire guys. Yeah, that's... You know, it seems like they stumble around with the Blade character a lot. Like, they can't quite get him right at Marvel. Um, they got two really good movies out for him. Third one, not so good. Uh, but they seem to just be, like, treading water with the character. They don't seem to be able to do him right. So I'm interested to see if, if Blade has written well here and if maybe they can keep things going with Blade. I know he was in an Avengers team, but I don't remember which one right now. And then last but not least is another new epic collection, uh, New Mutants, the Demon Bear Saga. And I have to think that this was timed to tie in with the New Mutants movie that is, like, on the shelf. I think it originally was supposed to come out this summer and didn't. So I feel like this was tied into it because this is the basis for that new movie. Um, new Mutants 13 through 31. This is the second volume, but I think the actual... This is volume number two, but I think it's the third New Mutants to come out. Visionary artist Bill Sienkiewicz transforms the New Mutants and the young heroes' lives will never be the same. New mutant, new recruits, Magma and Magic, find their footing at the school. The team tries to rescue Kitty Pride from the Frost, but they end up as members of rival mutant team, the Hellions. Then the demon bear that haunts Danny Moonstar bears its teeth. Will the New Mutants survive the bear's ferocious attack? And if so, can they make a new friend in the alien called Warlock? Uh, $39.99. These epic collections are amazing. I started organizing all the ones I have last night, though, and it's, it's eating up a lot of space. I don't know if I'll go full tilt on every single volume, but I'll always be in for all of the mutant ones. So Excalibur, New Mutants, uh, X-Factor, X-Force, all those I'll definitely be in for. And that is it, guys. A little lighter of the week this week. Still some good books. Um, if Whatever you picked up, if you picked up any of these, leave a comment in the comments below. If you like the videos, please click like and subscribe, notify. Um, join us for our live streams on Sunday nights around 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I was a little late last time. Um, but yeah, uh, I was interested to hear what other people are picking up. Any recommendations? Even if I don't end up reading them, I still want to hear what people recommend. Uh, because I do help out at the comic shop. And for the books that I don't read, it's always nice to go, well, I, I talked to this guy online and he seemed to really enjoy that book. If somebody's picking up the book. Um, or if everybody's like, ah, oh, that book's no good. Then I can say, yeah, I don't know if a lot of people that are digging it. So in the comments, please leave what you're reading. Tell me about books that you're checking out so that I have a better idea. I can only read so much. So, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you.